The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. What's new has our full attention. Join us to post what mainstream media will not, the truth. If you do not want this rep, do you click links or read below? Thanks. Obama orders Arctic death camps, built to hold American traitors. A disturbing report issued by the Russian general staff to President Medvedev warns today that the North American Security Zone Agreement signed this past week between the United States President Obama and Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper is a de facto merging of these two nations and allows the Americans to begin building one of the largest gulag systems, forced labor camps, in modern human history. According to this report, this new agreement between the United States and Canada brings closer to fruition the North American Union between these two nations and Mexico first proposed by President Ronald Reagan on 13 November 1979. Most ominous about this new agreement, Russian military experts in this report say, is that aside from Canada having to provide the United States with personal information on millions of Canadian citizens, the Americans now have complete control to begin building their long sought after system of labor camps in the Canadian Arctic designed to hold up to one million of their citizens their president has deemed to be traitors. Virtually unknown to the masses of American people is their president's ability to label anyone he so chooses as a terrorist or traitor, enabling him to turn these citizens over to the control of the United States military forces who are able to hold them without charges or trial forever. Even worse, and as we had previously reported on, new laws being passed in the United States now designate their homeland as a battlefield, and ordinary citizens who oppose the Obama regime as being enemies of the state. Not content to have the astounding dictatorial powers he already possesses, new reports from the United States are now stating that President Obama is threatening to veto even tougher laws that fail to give him complete control to turn over anyone he so chooses to be jailed by the United States military forces. Russian military legal analysts in this report further detail that Obama's need to establish these Arctic death camps in Canada is to keep imprisoned American traitors, from being able to access the United States legal system as they are being tortured, such as the system of secret CIA and the United States military prisons established all over the world over the past decade during the so-called War on Terror. To the type of life these Americans can expect in these Arctic death camps, was recently described by German investigative journalists who uncovered one of these secret United States prisons in Romania who, in part, said, according to the United States officials, interviewed anonymously, during their first month in detention the detainees were deprived of sleep, doused with water, forced to stand in painful positions and slapped. There is a convenient and descriptive shorthand for this kind of treatment which readers in civilized countries might find useful, torture. One weird detail about the prison chills the blood more than anything else. The six cells were mounted on springs so they were always swaying a little. Apparently, it's a good way of keeping people disorientated for long periods of time. God knows why the CIA recruits the sort of people who can dream up this kind of stuff, from the ranks of a heavily armed backwards militia maybe or perhaps even the Ku Klux Klan. Chilling reports coming from the United States state that the United States Army has begun training their troops to staff these Arctic death camps under a military occupational specialty, MOS designed to teach them how to handle civilian detainees and have begun asking their National Guard troops if they would be willing to fire on and kill American citizens. To the types of Americans labeled as terrorists by the Obama regime the United States Senator Ron Paul this past week warned included anyone having missing fingers, anyone having guns, anyone having weatherproofed ammunition, and anyone having seven days or more of food in their homes. So concerned is the Obama regime about any American citizen having more than seven days of food, new reports from the United States are now saying their federal government agents are now ordering food companies to supply them with lists of anyone who is buying food in preparation for hard times or disasters. 
to any American thinking they aren't a terrorist they should think again. Secret the United States government documents they obtained further said these people were enemies of the state if they supported the United States Congressman Ron Paul, owned gold, or flew the American flag. To how soon the Obama regime will begin its mass roundup of its own citizens was chillingly revealed this week when new documents were released showing their push to open what are called former detention camps in all 50 states as soon as possible. The reason behind the Obama regime preparing to unleash its brutal might upon its own citizens was, likewise, was warned about this past week by noted trends analyst Gerald Salent, who during an interview with Russian Today stated that the, the United States was preparing to establish economic martial law, sadly for the American people whose march to communistic serfdom is accelerating with each passing day, was there ignoring the words of Prime Minister Putin who warned of the dangers of any country following the path of communism by his stating. The concentration of surplus assets in the hands of the state is a negative aspect of anti-crisis measures in virtually every nation. In the 20th century, the Soviet Union made the state's role absolute. In the long run, this made the Soviet economy totally uncompetitive. This lesson cost us dearly. I'm sure nobody wants to see us repeated. And in what can only be described as the most despotic irony of all, while the Western media has devoted nearly all of its attention on Russian protests which saw nearly 300 arrests, they still refuse to report on the Occupy protests that have rocked their countries resulting in the brutalizing of peaceful protesters and seen over 5,000 of them jailed. Your government working hard to protect you. Hum. Itself, from you. Please help, share this article with others. See links to this below. Thanks. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.